Give us an update, actually, on where the bill stands. Will it pass and when? Well, we think it's going to pass the U.S. Senate tonight. We're really excited about, about it. It's bipartisan, as you mentioned in your intro, which we think is fantastic, that the two parties have come together and come up with some common sense solutions here that don't impair safety or soundness or financial stability or consumer protection, unlike some of the misinformation, but really allow banks, particularly our nation's smaller banks, to more efficiently serve their customers, clients, and communities. And we're excited about about it, talked to the Senate leadership earlier today, and it's looking like later this afternoon or this evening we could see it pass the U.S. Senate by a big bipartisan majority. So I want to get into some of the substance, what it does do and what it sure. doesn't do. Before that, stick with process for a moment. There's a House version, which is mm -hmm. different from what is likely to come out of the Senate. Right. What is the issue of reconciliation? How can you put the two of them together? So they're still talking about whether it'll be a formal or informal reconciliation process. What's probably going to happen over the next several days, we'll see the Senate bill pass tonight. Uh, or later today, and then the House, we hope, will quickly uh, pass legislation as well uh, so it can get to the president's desk. The White House has already signaled that they're going to sign this. You know, we'd like this to happen sooner versus later, though Chairman Henserling has been obviously working on financial regulation and moderni modernization for a long time. So he's interested in, in getting some House imprint on the product. We just want this whole process to move as quickly as it can. I won't ask for a guarantee, but a prediction. Just what is sooner? What do you think? A week, a month, two weeks? What, what would ideally, you guess? Ideally, ideally, uh, in a utopia, David, we are the president signing something to law before Easter, but certainly it could slip into, in, into May.